I've decided to have a party called Vajapalooza. And I'm basically inviting loads of friends, people who I know. Yeah, so that's going to be really, really fun. And I'm going to do a Rocky Horror Show theme. And a few people have said, well, why are you doing Rocky Horror Show? Because isn't that like a transvestite thing? I was like, well, it kind of is. Hello, gorgeous. How are you doing? I've got a chocolate bar. I know I never eat chocolate and um, well, I certainly don't eat chocolate to go to the gym but I just grabbed it because I really want some chocolate I haven't had chocolate in ages and I really fancied some so I've agreed some chocolate Mmm, it's yummy So I wore an evening dress and heels and everything It was my friend Chrissy's wedding Ah, oh, I got to wear an evening dress and heels so, so this year not only have I been a bridesmaid I've now worn an evening dress I've never done that before I'll put a picture up now it's so cool and it's little things like that little milestones along the way that you just see you know yourself it, it surprised me because I'm like oh look that's me and I know my hair is a bit weird in the picture it makes my face look like really long because I had my parting really uh, far up that's okay I don't care also I'm going to the gym and my hair is done and I got a full face of makeup on that's because and I know I know I know before everybody goes oh my god I shouldn't do this I went to bed last night with makeup on and then I got up this morning and I was like oh my god I still got makeup on what the hell and I could either take it all off and go to the gym or I could touch it up and go to the gym and being as I'm not going to get particularly sweaty in the gym I just touched it up and then I started doing my hair so I sorted my hair out so now I've got like full on evening hair and makeup going to the gym yeah because I'm so glamorous this is my life now I must go to the gym with a full face of makeup and my hair done no not so i want to talk about vagipalooza now if we're if you're on my facebook group you've probably seen the picture and the event already here's the thing because i'm probably never going to get married and have a hen party and do all of that stuff and because it's my 50th birthday next year i've decided to roll my 50th birthday party because it's quite a big one probably over halfway through my life and probably a lot more over halfway through my life. And to celebrate that I'm finally going to Thailand to have the surgery, I've decided to have a party called Vajapalooza. And I'm basically inviting loads of friends, people who I know. Yeah, so that's going to be really, really fun. And I'm going to do a Rocky Horror Show theme. And a few people have said, well, why are you doing Rocky Horror Show? Because isn't that like a transvestite thing? I was like, well, it kind of is. But here's the thing, okay? And I feel I should explain this so people understand why I've made it a Rocky Horror Show theme. If you don't know what Rocky Horror Show is, by the way, where have you been? When I was 14, I knew how I felt, but I didn't know there was a name for it. I didn't know it was a th such a thing as transsexual, transvestite. Transgender hadn't even, didn't even exist at this point. This is quite a new thing, it seems. So I didn't know. So I watched this film on Channel 4 in the UK called The Rocky Horror Picture Show. And it was like, kind of how I felt. And it had terms in it, like transsexual, like sweet, you know, sweet transvestite from transsexual Transylvania. And I was like, what are all these? What, what is this? Is, what? So I kind of, they didn't Google it because Google wasn't a thing either back then. This was the 80s, by the way. I did research into books by reading the words. And I found out what these things were. And I was like, oh my God, this isn't... I am not the only person in the world that feels the way I do. Because all my life I felt, you know, wrong about my, my, my gender. So when I, when I read about it, I was like, oh, fireworks in the brain moment. It was amazing. Anywho, I'm more on that later. I'm now at the gym. Time for sweaty. Sweaty Betty. What am I talking What am I even talking about? I'm such a rambler this morning. I was going to go for a run on the seafront this morning because I've got this GoPro 7 in the house. Still in the box. Been there for over a week to review. It's like the brand new GoPro. But I haven't had a chance to do it yet. So here I am at the gym. Back in a bit. Bum done. I love bum sessions. Although I love shoulders. I love all... Oh, it's the weirdest thing, you know? I've always, even at my biggest, I, I quite liked training. I like the feeling that you get with exercise. And it's true what they say, that as you exercise more, you want to do more. It becomes addictive, especially once you get past the first few weeks. And it becomes like a three months I think they say don't they and it becomes you know just what you do but I always hated myself in the gym so even though sometimes I'd get caught up in the you know the exercise and the feeling of you know of lifting weights which I, I always quite liked I'd then see a mirror and I'd immediately be repulsed I'd hate myself and there's this weird thing happening now and it's such vanity it's such a I don't know how to explain. I feel kind of bad for feeling like this but now I'm quite tanned at the moment and so I was doing some shoulders last week and I was doing some glutes today and now I look in the mirror and I think oh yeah that, that, I, like, I like what I see and I'll make jokes about you know showing off and stuff and of course we all like you know the things that we like but I see my reflection and I'm like oh, I quite like that now this is this is nice and that's something that I'm still the changes that have been happening to me over the last couple of years aren't just physical there's quite a lot of psychology going on too and I need to dig into this at some point so it's really interesting how starting to like what I see in the mirror not seeing that stranger in the mirror anymore 
starting to feel like, oh, that's actually me now. I, I need some processing, and I don't know, you know, I, I need to, I need to reflect on this. It's a little bit odd because, because as I said, I actually keep feel kind of bad that I like what I see because I know that's such a vein. But I think it's also a huge sense of accomplishment. I think it's like, yeah, you know, yes, I had bariatric surgery, but I still had to work hard to pay for that, and I've still had to work damn hard in the gym to keep training and I've had to put up with a lot of surgery this year and even though to me that's been just part of the process part of the journey it's still been pretty tough to keep doing that and keep working for my clients and because I'm a contractor so I don't take time off I'm in hospital like yes doing the work <laughs> so you know, I suppose I can feel some sense of accomplishment for that. I try, I try not to do pride. I'm not a big fan of pride, even though I guess this probably is how I kind of feel a little bit. But I just feel I had a goal, I had a purpose, I had a mission, and I accomplished that. And I think, yeah, that's all right. I think it's good to feel good about that. Or at least it's okay to feel good about that. I digress. So, anywho, bum, bum's looking good, arms looking, everything's starting to look good. Oh, what's going on here then? My watch is telling me things. Vajapalooza, my party. I, if you've had an invite, yay! I hope you can come. It's a local thing, so I'm not expecting, you know, people to travel for far. <laughs> I think it's going to be so much fun. I'm really looking forward to it. And as I said, I'm doing a Rocky Horror theme. And I think, I think I may press some of my, some of my performing arts chums into doing a little, a little number. Maybe, maybe, maybe that will happen. Maybe, maybe my voice going higher. I don't know. <laughs> so that's gonna happen. So that's a little bit of a, an odd video blog this one. Didn't really have a purpose, not much of a takeaway. I really, I, I normally, I used to write these and at the moment I'm just kind of winging them. But I promise, I promise, I will put some effort in soon. <laughs> just so busy. I have no hours in the day. I've got new gadgets and toys and crazy stuff to review. Oh, I've got some funny stuff to review. Oh boy, have I got some fun things to review. I just can't seem to get around to it. It's so busy. That, that's opening up. It's just, just projects. Projects keep me busy. Anywho, I did have, oh yeah, so, so my question is, how do you feel about pride how do you feel about feeling good about yourself because i always feel i feel guilty if i'm proud about something and i feel guilty if i feel bad about something because i keep looking at my life in general and thinking i shouldn't be feeling bad about things so i kind of feel i kind of feel bad for feeling anything sometimes which is a bit random i guess so how you know what do you think what how do you feel we should feel about feeling good about things or even feeling bad about things psychology is complicated right so that's pretty much it um as always thank you so much for being here and watching and commenting it's amazing share like if you didn't like my video hit the dislike button all that engagement is good popping up on on my right on the left of the screen i don't know it's over there is the last show i put out and below that is the one youtube thinks you should watch next Sometimes it's the same one, not my fault, it's YouTube. And I shall see you in the very next show. I love you very much. Bye-bye.